Now, we're talking draw length. What we're gonna talk about is I'm gonna show you too short of a draw length, too long of a draw length, and then what fits me. We're gonna cover a few points. The angle of my elbow, my front arm, and how I am across my chest, as well as face contact, which you can also see in our anchor point video. So I'm gonna draw back on this bow. This is my elbows even, and see, if I extend my arm, I am short. So I see a lot of people that come in here and make it fit them, but it's gonna wear, it's gonna, see how it opened my shoulder up, so here? But when you shoot too short, it drops that shoulder down too low. So I like to extend out and push in, and I just cannot do it with a bow. And you see how it's pulling my elbow this way? So it's pulling my elbow out. So that's too short of a draw length. It's pretty simple. You want the right draw length, that's too short. Now, I'm gonna show you too long of a draw length. So the main thing to look at here is I'm extended and look at all the face contact that I have. Now I'm in my anchor point, but look at all that. That's not good, that makes a string bounce. So if you have that much, or you're having to do this, you're too long of a draw length. You can feel it on your face. We don't want all that face contact. It's actually wearing me out being that long. So that's too much face contact. Elbow's fine because it's too long. It allows my elbow to stay straight. My shoulders stay good. It's just way too much of an extension and too much face contact. So now let's go to the proper draw length for a bow for me. And one thing that I like to tell people is that your draw length may change depending on the axle to axle length of the bow and the brand of bow. So the new Hoyt Venom 33 is a pretty long bow compared to the Matthews V331. Uh, so you may, you may be the exact same draw length, but always when you get a new bow, have it set specifically for you. And do this, go in, have them adjust the bow till it fits you right. I have a little bit of dip in my head. I can probably go to about a half inch longer on this bow. Actually, I thought it was gonna be just right, but it's about a half inch too short. But you can see how it was not as much face contact across my face. That face contact is a major issue. It'll throw your string off. So let's go now. We thought this was perfect and it doesn't matter. We're gonna go ahead and go a half inch longer just so you can see the difference between that 29 and a 29 and a half with my draw length. And my V331, I'm a 29 and a half. And so we're gonna, this is at 29, we're gonna go extend it out and show you that too. Now we're back at it. I added half an inch to this Bowtech Solution SS and what you'll be able to see is the difference in what that half an inch does to my draw length on this particular bow. So we're not back here, we're not up here. Just right above elbow bend. See, we're not like this but we're also not in here where we're pushing our arm into where the string goes. Just a little bit of end right into that anchor point, staying up straight. Elbow looks good in the back. Because our elbow's not pointed up, it's not pointed down, we're pretty level, straight and straight line. Now you've seen the proper draw length. Make sure you set yours up right. When you go into bow shop, you should have that expectation. Huge, huge impact on your ability to group and to shoot longer distances. Get that draw length right.